So after setting a breakpoint here, I will run using F5. And so the execution has stopped before the function call. And if I click on step here, it will actually go and execute that function. Instead of that, what I'll do is I will step into the function. And so now you see I'm within the function. And let me get rid of this for now. And this shows me the workspace corresponding to the function Euler. And you see I have only the stuff that I passed in. And then if I step, it executed the pre-allocation. And so I have the, the X and T arrays. Now Euler was called by spring mass. And you see that the pre-allocated variables don't appear here. That's because variables are local to a function. So, and that's a very important distinction between a function and a script. So if I go back to the um, Euler function and say step, and then I can keep stepping and see, okay, it's going through the loop, okay, um, looks promising. So I want to complete the function execution, so I'll say step out. So that will step out of the function. And now you see it's completed that call. And now if you come back to the function call stack, you see that you don't have the uh, Euler function anymore. And only the variables that were passed back to the main function now remain in the workspace. All other variables that were local to the function have been, um, you know, go away when the function call is completed. And then I can uh, click on continue to complete execution. And so I get my plot. And since I have a very coarse time step, um, you can see that the Euler's method is way off from the analytical solution. So if I come back here and change the number of time steps to 1,000 and rerun it, I'll see that you know I get my original result, and I can dock this back.